Volkswagen ID Buzz. It's sort of a successor to the old Volkswagen Bulli that a lot of older and perhaps not so much older people will also remember fondly. And, um, well, there's one problem with this car. And that's not the design, which is sort of retro. I kind of like it. I'm not sure about the front, but the rear is really nice and the sides. It's not the color, which is actually pretty nice. It's not the interior, which is a bit special, but still looks very good. It's not the build quality, which is excellent. It's, it's almost a bit like an Audi, really. Um, the only problem is you don't really get that far with this car. First of all, the ID Buzz has a pretty striking shape. It reminds me of the old Bully, but also incorporates the modern electric ID model front. The two tone paint additionally attracts stairs. Unlike the old van, the Buzz has a lot of modern tech, including some very nice rear LED lights. Welcome to the future of motoring. Mm, yes, it is electric, I suppose, but it's more like this. Sitting with nothing much to do, except listen to music. <sighs> Browse your phone, because, well, you're waiting for your car batteries to charge. It's going to take 30 more minutes. I'm at 85% power. I've got about 300 kilometers range, 300, and um, yeah, it's charging with 45 kilowatts power right now. It says it's four kilometers per minute, but still, it takes a long time. I really like electric cars. They're very nice. They're very quiet. They're great because of regenerative braking. They're just very nice, but the battery technology is not very nice. Lithium technology is great for phones, for laptops, for small things, but for uh, really large things like cars where there's a lot of power required and a lot of capacity, that's just not the technology, unfortunately. Let's get right to the point. First of all, this Volkswagen ID Buzz is far too expensive and has far too little range. So that's the two big, big negatives here, I have to say right away, because otherwise I like it, but it's, it's just, I think the wrong, the wrong motor without the proper engine, so to speak. This should really have a two liter diesel engine, if anything, because what does the Volkswagen Bulli represent? In the past, it was a, small sort of um, small van which a lot of people used to go on longer trips to see Europe to see the countries to to sleep in the back to have fun to go to the beach and so on and so forth and this thing while it looks great and everyone looks at it and smiles it just isn't going to get you where you want within a reasonable time span because if I want to go from here to say northern Germany or northern France I am going to spend more time charging than I will actually be on the road and it will be very expensive to do so at fast charging stations so before you say that I'm just talking absolute rubbish uh, let me put it like this the actual tests show that uh, WLTP say that this should have around 400 ish kilometers range sure but in the real world, when we had a preview of this car, in the winter, well, it's still winter, but it was winter, there were four of us in the van, we were using the highway, so around, it, there was 110 or 100 to 130 kilometers uh, was the speed range because of limits and so on and so forth. So there were four of us, we weren't really, you know, gunning it, it was by the limits. Uh, we were, of course, using some heating, uh, very little heated seats, and that was it. And yeah, 
we got about 200 kilometers range and going once uh, one way we only had two people inside and back we had four but you know with 400 kilometers range in the winter and that's going to be somewhat similar in the summer because you're gonna be using the air conditioning and so on it's just not enough range so we're almost there 92 percent battery power right now and uh, i know i know not everyone is going to be doing 200 300 kilometers a day well unless you go for a trip of course but that's the whole point of this car of the volkswagen bully or or in this case the id buzz it is road trips it is having fun going to other places sleeping in the back and you're you're not going to be doing that just by having to constantly charge and you have to remember something if you buy this car which is pretty darn expensive you're probably going to want to keep the battery working for as long as possible which means you don't really want to uh, charge it very fast too often because that reduces its lifespan and even the car itself tells you that if you want to keep battery life somewhat high you shouldn't really charge it more than 80 percent and of course then you know you shouldn't really discharge it more than let's say 30 percent so you know this this range while already small is getting even smaller if you want it to baby the car and um, prolong the life of the battery okay but enough lamentations about batteries and so on and so forth um let's just concentrate on the buzz and uh, it is very nice like i said before because it is electric it's very quiet it's very nice inside here it's comfortable you've got plenty of view just like in the multivan because the windows are very big the front windshield is very far from you in fact it's comically far usually in cars i can I can turn on the recording like this, but here I really have to practically get out of the seat to do so. So there's plenty of space. Um, I like the seats. They're very comfortable. Ooh, that's going away. Uh, you've got heated seats. You've got very nice leather or pleather on there. You've got a very nice uh, steering wheel, which is also heated. Unfortunately, it has the capacitive touch buttons, which I'm not a fan of at all. I would rather have physical buttons um, but you know there's so much good about this car if it was only not electric for actual road trips going back to the whole consumption thing usually with electric cars um, we will see around 21 or let's say 20 to around 24 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers that's their usual average consumption which means regular city driving highway driving you know a, a mix of all and uh, when we see something like 21 or maybe even 20 it's very very good it's very economical so to speak here with the ID buzz of course you would expect a higher consumption because well it is less aerodynamic uh, it's bigger it's a little heavier so yes what I see here is 25 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers which isn't bad until you go to the to the highways of course then it raises up all the way up to 30 and even more sometimes and uh, therein lies the crux of it all of the electric cars they get really thirsty electrically speaking when you're on a highway the fact of the matter is the only people that will be buying this car or this van are people with plenty of cash to spare because this will probably not be their only car because of the limited range but they will also really only use it for sort of specific trips I guess that will not be too far away or most likely just the cities but it's not quite that great for city driving because it's a larger vehicle so I don't know I really don't know I, like I said it's got all the building blocks of a very nice successor to the Volkswagen Bulli it just needs a diesel engine 
and it needs to be cheaper because this test model with a few optional extras is about 80,000. The ID Buzz starts at just under 65,000 euros. For the model with all extras, you'll be paying 81,000 euros.